Today is October 19th, on which we commemorate Henry Martin, priest and missionary. Henry Martin was born in Cornwall in 1781. He was a gifted student and intended to pursue a career as a barrister until 1802, when he heard Charles Simeon, noted leader of the Evangelical Revival in England, speak on the great work achieved by the missionary William Carey in India. That day, Martin resolved to follow in Carey's footsteps and take the gospel to India. In 1805, now ordained, Martin set out to serve as a chaplain in the British East India Company. While his post was primarily meant to serve the expatriate British population, Martin was determined to impact the native population as well. Within a year, he was conducting services among the locals in their language. He often met with resistance, both from the British and local leaders. Britain was on a mission of colonization, not evangelization, and the locals, who had already submitted to economic and political control, often strenuously resisted submitting spiritually as well. Henry Martin was undeterred. During this time, he worked tirelessly on translation, no small feat in a land of countless languages and dialects. He translated the New Testament into Hindustani, Urdu, and Persian, the Psalms into Persian, and the Book of Common Prayer into Urdu. Ill health forced him to leave India in 1811, but he used this as an excuse to travel to Persia to correct his translations, and then hopefully to continue on to Arabia to improve his Arabic. He arrived in Persia to find almost everyone willing to debate and discuss his message, but few interested in conversion. He was able, through intermediaries, to get one of his Persian New Testaments into the hands of the Shah, who praised his linguistics, but regarded the book as little more than a curiosity. As he continued to travel through Persia, now bound for Constantinople, his health declined. He died on October 16th in 1812 at just 31 years of age in the Turkish city of Tokat. Local Armenian Orthodox clergy provided him with a Christian burial. Henry Martin's last words were, Let me burn out for God. Let us pray. O God of the nations, you gave your faithful servant Henry Martin a brilliant mind, a loving heart, and a gift for languages, that he might translate the scriptures and other holy writings for the peoples of India and Persia. Inspire in us a love like his, eager to commit both life and talents to you who gave them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.